Hello developers, welcome back. In the last video, we have implemented the OO2 authorization using the Laravel Passport package. This server do test is the OAuth server and here we have created the OAuth client for this client do test. Now from here, if we click this authorize from server, it will redirect to the server do test and when we authorize that, it gets the access token and we store that access token into the database here it is and this client app used that access token to fetch the post from the OAuth server but here we have problem this access token can get the data from the any API from the server and that we don't want let's see that in the server app and in the route api.php this is the route to fetch all posts and this is the route to fetch authenticated user data and on the client side we have fetched the all posts from this api if we use that access token to fetch the user using this api route it's going to work let's see so in the client app if we navigate to app http controller home controller right here we have fetch the all post data so instead of post let's fetch the user and right here this is now user and now let's dump this user right here now if we go to browser and hit refresh and we get the user data from the server api and that we don't want we want to set some set of permission to this access token so it can only fetch those data that is allowed to that access token for that in the laravel password package it has provided us token scopes we can define the scopes in the passport using this passport token can method let's try this in the server app we will navigate to app providers or service provider right here we will add passport token can method and this method we will add the our scopes let's say our first scope is view force and next we will specify the description of this scope view force next scope i will add is view user view user similar like that you can add more scopes for example you can also add create post and then description create post right now i have not created any api for create post so let's remove this next we need to add middleware to protect these apis so in the recommendation we need to add these middlewares in the app http kernel.php so in the server app we will navigate to http kernel and i will add that right here now we have two middleware scopes and scope next we will go to the api.php and here i will add scope and our scope is view user if you need to add multiple scopes to this here we will use scopes and and then we can add more scopes with comma separation right now we need only ones now this time if we go to browser and refresh we did not get any message that is because we have dumped that in the status 200 let's comment this if statement for now and refresh and here we get the message invalid scope provided but if we try to fetch post here and go browser and refresh and here we get the all post that is because in the server app this post api is not yet protected so let's add scope to this api route as well so here i'll add scope and here our scope is view posts now let's go browser refresh 
and again we get the message invalid scopes provided now in the client side in the OAuth controller here when we are redirecting to the server dot test to authorize here in this query we also need to specify the scope so it can tell that it needs the authorization for particular set of data here we need to fetch pose so here I will pass scope view posts now in the database let's remove this access token from the client app and now refresh now this time if we click this authorization now it detected to server.test and right here in this model it has displayed the message that the client app is asking for authorization to view posts now if we authorize and here we go we can get the all posts however in the home controller if we try to fetch data from the user api and then refresh you will see the message invalid scopes provided because that access token is not valid for view user scope and in the server dot test if we refresh now here you can see this app is authorized for view posts and this one which we have previously authorized has no scope attached to it let's revoke this now if we want to add multiple scopes to this authorization then here we can pass scopes with space separation so here we'll add view user and now in the database refresh let's remove this access token let's revoke this app from here now refresh now here if we click authorize from server and this time we will see the client app is asking for authorization to view posts and to view user now if we authorize and this time we can see the authenticated user data from the user api and let's see for posts api refresh and we get the all posts so let's and here it is posts now refresh and we can see the old posts now in the server app refresh and here we can see this app is authorized for two scopes now in the OAuth controller here in the callback method after the app is authorized here we send this request to get the access token and if we dump this response next let's remove this access token from here and in the app let's revoke this now refresh and authorize from app as we authorize you will see that it has given us the token type bearer expire in access token and refresh token in the next video we will see how we can utilize this refresh token so this is the end of this tutorial Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next lesson.